Hello. Um, just had a request from a YouTube user. A, a camel for you. <laughs> okay. Um, he basically wanted to know how to um, get some mathematical equations into this formula thing, how you can link it. Um, basically, we'll be using um, what's called a formula controller. Put this up here. Basically, it's very, very simple to use if you want to use it for simple stuff, or you can go even more complex and create some really weird, wacky stuff. It's up to you, really. Okay, so here, um, I'm going to load in, uh, it's called the Fruity XY controller, as you can see here. This is the Fruity XY controller. You can basically make really weird things go around with this and so on. So we're going to use XY controller XY control okay so that's the XY controller and then in this next one you want to open oh, close that for a sec and then you want to open up you know You want to go to the formula controller. This is it. This is what it looks like. You can basically here right click and it will show you sort of selections that you can make. We're just going to use a sine wave, um, basically basic sine wave. And when we press play on on our play, you'll see that it has a little formula um, here. And when we press play, play, yeah, it will show the waveform that we've just selected. And you can see that it just does a simple sine wave, and you can change the perimeters just by selecting, controlling the uh, knobs and faders and whatever you want to call them. If you want to go a bit more complex, you can change some of this. So you can change. I don't know. Um, star is um, times dash is divided, and then you've got plus that speaks for itself and minus. So if we plus it, you'll get something really weird. Um, if you press F1 on your keyboard, it will pull up the help menu, or you can go um, into the menu and select help. Um, basically it will have more formulas in there for you to use um, that's just a bit more complex stuff if you want to use it that way and so on it's just up to you what you want to do with it really it's very versatile and so on so what we're going to do is we're going to control it F control it okay we want to link that one uh, to our XY controller we've got here so what we're going to do is put a simple, simple pattern in. Um, let's select high random, and then play. See what that looks like. Hmm. Let's make it randomness. Let's see what that does. That looks cool. Okay. So stop that. Stop. <laughs> Okay, well, look, that will do. Um, what we want to do here what we want to do here is we want to select to change one of these one of these lines, whatever you want. So just select this first one here. We're on we're on the X axis at the moment so it will automatically control the x-axis and then if we select to the y you can see here it will select the y-axis so what we want to do is right click link to controller and then where it says internal controllers we want to link that one to our formula control which we've put in on the f controller you want the out on that select that and then hit accept and then when we press play, we should 
get a nice motion. Let's change it to square. Or a sine wave. There we go. My sine wave. Let's make it a bit slower. So you can see what's going on. Like so. Okay, and then what we want to do is control the one that's going up and down, so that's the Y axis. So just load in another controller. So the formula controller. And just select whatever you want. Um, so we just put a three step in, like so. Go back to our fruity XY controller. Hit the Y. And then select link to controller. And then it was the second one. That's the second one we've loaded in. What you can also do is rename, rename the controllers so you'll easily understand what they are as well. So if we hit accept, you should get a nice up and down effect. So that's uh, basically how you can control um, using the formula control. Very, very simple. You can do that with um, audio as well. So if we select this one and then put it on uh, the volume channel on our sampler here right click again there's this first one we can either keep it with this um, this uh, what we use as the XY controller the conflict what it does here it says it's that we've already used it so we just want to use it again so we unselect that and it will also uh, keep on the uh, sampler here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We've got a nice, nice bit there. While it's still controlling in our XY controller. Okay, this is uh, Kelsey B or F Mister. Hey, <laughs> Mister Zero Six. Hope you've enjoyed, um, and I'll bring you another tutorial soon. If you want any requests. Um, Please do so and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks a lot.